And how did you get into, into this whole topic? For me, getting into the topic, my first NDE back in 2010, that first opened my mind to different realms of possibility, you know, seeing light as it was, you know, without the translator. So, yeah. and, then, and that's kind of like what I see, like the whole idea of like seeing God in a vision or something. It's seeing without that translation, without that mind interpretation of what light is, and you're just seeing it bare naked. Um, and then subsequently throughout the years, I had other visions and things that overwhelmed my nervous system and just kind of gave me a glimpse of what's beyond that translation. Um, and that's, that's what I was wanting to get into before I lost track was the idea of, you know, what, what is the translation? What is the codex, right? When we translate one language from the nut to, into another one, there's usually some kind of comparison, right? We need take this word and turn it into this word, we need to have some kind of variables in which you compare everything. And our brain much needs to say, and this is why knowledge changes our perception and new experiences changes our understanding. And like, these are the codex, these are the indexes that translate our perception to reality. And um, I also think that it's carried through time, through genetics, right? The genetic understanding stored within the DNA influences our perception of reality and that's why it's like we have this shared perception because it has been carried on through time um whatever that is um, but there is does seem to be this like storage of information that has kept a solidity um to our shared experience and i think as at some point in time some very wise people and knowledgeable people came to some kind of understanding of how consciousness works and um saw fit to study this I'm like okay how do we how do we how do we hack it right if it is a hologram hologram is very much the same as a computer program just like computers can become hacked i think our consciousness can become hacked part of the reason for the world is that we live in because everything seems backwards 